three right now are at Leah's Kitchen. So it's the airport version of Dookie Chase's in New Orleans. Here at the airport, there's a tribute to Miss Chase. She's actually the queen of Creole um, cuisine. She also was, well, she was born like in 1923. Imagine how, what her age was. But in addition to that, having a long life, she committed herself to the cuisine of New Orleans to making sure that there was equality across the board. And her husband, the original Dookie, um, he was one of those people that was really involved with the civil rights movement, as was Ms. Leah. And on top of that, they would go there and discuss legal ways for them to increase the accessibility for minorities, for everyone. It's the only place where mixed race groups can get together and not raise an eyebrow. So you have to understand that this is a place where dignitaries came. If they came to New Orleans and they knew about this place, they were looking to go there. You had people like Ray Charles. That was one of his favorite places. Um, and he talks about, he would talk about it in interviews. Jesse Jackson was a staple during the Civil Rights Movement and there. Um, people like Duke Ellington and uh, oh, her, President Barack Obama was her favorite person in the world. But over the course of her life, she received awards from the NAACP, the Culinary uh, Arts Society. She's in the Culinary Arts Museum. This woman is a tribute to what true New Orleans cuisine is and what a true New Orleans dedication is to the, its people. Oh. We even have a pretty mural to Miss Leia Chase. That's beautiful. There. See, we're at Leia's kitchen with the fan. Uh, that Duke Chase was one of the inspirations for Princess and the Frog uh, and Patiana's restaurant. This is a long staple of the United of real of New Orleans, but it's very, she was very active in the United States Civil Rights Movement. A lot of the civil rights organizations, CORE, SNCC, uh, all those, you know, they at CLC they met at Duke Chase as a little girl. I remember I would have to sit in the front of the restaurant in the bar area while my parents, my uncle and family members were meeting with some of these organizations to help do the voter registration in Louisiana. Um, it was a turbulent time for me as a child because we went through a lot of really unsure episodes where we weren't sure if you know, family members were going to make it back home because they were trying to get minorities to register to vote. It was scary for us, but now looking back, it's very much a source of pride for our entire family to know that my Uncle Ronnie Moore was so active in these organizations and in the voter registration drive. So if you get a chance to look him up, Ronnie Malcolm Moore, who's also featured in the Amistad Museum in Tulane University. We have some barbecue shrimp here. They're already eaten down. Yeah. How was the shrimp? Awesome. Go try one. I love it. It was really good. Not spicy. It was really good. That barbecue shrimp was on point. When we go to the other restaurant, I'm trying that. That was really good if they have it, for sure. And hey, look at that redfish my brother has. Mm -hmm. He's still eating the shrimp. Mate. He got redfish and red beans. That is straight up New Orleans. That looks really good. We'll be in the gym. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gonna be every yeah. And, the some the, yeah. and I'm eating crab cakes with fried green tomatoes. And here comes their entrees now. Guess what? My mother that also got the so redfish <laughs> along with a crab cake. Oh my God! That Did you, looks good. And you got jambalaya underneath your. Yes, um, I can't wait redfish. to try your red beans. Yeah. And my father got what? What did that is? Shrimp Creole. Shrimp Creole. It looks so good. Look at this place. Oh my gosh, I'm stealing some. Wait, wait. I'm stealing some. Yeah, I'm looking at my mother eat the shrimp Creole now. Oh my god. Is it alright for? Oh yes. Oh my Elmo. Okay. I'm giving it I'm not taking it anymore. So I decided to get the barbecue shrimp and it is yum, skittily, yum, just it's so good, delicious. Anybody who comes to New Orleans airport and does not eat at Leah's Kitchen, you're missing out. I am going to be honest. I was a little hesitant because it's, because it's in the airport. I'm thinking, okay, airport fare is going to be, you know, just 
something very, very regimented. No, this is traditional, it's flavorful, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I would actually leave my house and come to the airport just to eat here. Unfortunately, you gotta get through airport security. But I gotta get through airport security to do it. But you it's gotta worth have a boarding pass, but otherwise. But it's worth it. So if you ever come through New Orleans Airport and get in here, do your best. It's worth the trip. I'm eating my last shrimp. This barbecue shrimp is out of this world. I think everybody here is satisfied with their food. Man. <laughs> All right, well, let me tell you something. This is how my baby girl from New York leaves her shrimp. The tail, she just eats the meat. No, um, the tails still have meat in it. They have shrimp in it. See? Meanwhile, from New Orleans, we don't leave this. We go for it too. So we gonna squeeze that. You know, it's all that nice, pretty goodness coming out. You, know, you wanna hold it? Mm -hmm. You're gonna show them all the oh, meat that I left? Yes, all that nice, pretty goodness come out. Squeeze it out. Mm -hmm. And look at this, look how much she left here. So that's how much, and that's only one. I had like six or seven of them. So now this one, I just want to show y'all that I'm gonna peel the outside. This is all she left here. Wow, that is a lot actually. Yeah. So I've been down there for seven years and I'm still not peeling shrimp right. <laughs> mm. It's all good. Better, See, better look, late than never, Now guys. this is the rest of the shrimp. This is still what's left. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference between a that's New Yorker a and a New Orleans, a true New Orleans person. Don't worry, guys, I'll be there soon. No, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have faith in me. Okay. So how was the food? How Leah's was the kitchen food? is amazing. Whoever comes here, just like his mom said, you need to come here at the airport. If you want real New Orleans food, this is the place. In they all make, the yeah, in the airport, they all made fun of me peeling my shrimp. You know, I'm not the best shrimp peeler, but guys, I'm learning. Seven years, I'll get better. <laughs> it's better late than never to be a good shrimp peeler, guys. But seriously, um, yeah, this, the food this was great. restaurant was amazing. Like, as his mom said, we were shocked. We didn't think it was going to be good, but it's really good. The place is amazing. The staff is amazing. When you come here and fly out of New Orleans, check out this kitchen. It's awesome. Leah's kitchen is amazing, and they have a nice tribute of her. I love that. So, with that said. Huh? We're out. We're out. We're back in New Orleans and we are going home. And we're going to bring you more amazing coverage in New Orleans, our favorite city, and the best place to live. Thank you guys for watching and. Laissez les bon temps relay. Let the good times roll. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Bye.